Our next speaker was the first All-American to come out of Brother Rice. He attended Notre Dame. Straight up. He went to the bathroom. Seriously? You expect me to stall for... Do you realize what this guy shills for a living? You've seen his commercials. So have I, so have I. He, he's back, get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, where was I? Our next speaker was the first All-American to come out of Brother Rice. He attended Notre Dame, drafted number 35 by the San Francisco 49ers. I had a chance to uh, get with Greg Collins after a game one day at the Stick Inn, San Francisco. One of the nicest people on the planet. He's currently an actor living in L.A. You've seen him in several major motion pictures. You also see him in several commercials touting one very expensive, but one very, very important little blue pill. His, <laughs> as I typed this this morning, I said, do I or don't I, what the hell? <laughs> His friends call him a working stiff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you a wonderful gentleman. Here's Greg Collins, ladies and gentlemen, come on up. Thank you, sir. Hi, coach. After this thing, we'll do all the funny stories about coach, okay? Thank you very much for the opportunity to say a couple words. I'm here representing the uh, foundation years of coach's existence at Brother Rice. Yes, those guys over there. In 1969, they were, we were eight and one, co-central division champs. In 1970, we were seven, one and one, central division champs. We lost and tied to the same team. <laughs> Bowers, what was the name of that team? Schwein. <laughs> I hate those guys. <sighs> anyway, we lost and tied to the same team, Schwein. And then, you coached for those guys, didn't you, coach? Okay. And then in 1971, they were... You didn't leave a playbook over there. I mean, they knew the two power better than we did. Okay. Anyway, uh, in 1971, they were 8-0-1, oh, Catholic League champs. And for the first three years, a uh, combined record of 23-2-2. Two, two. Now, that's, that's pretty good, you know, I think. Considering Coach always told us what a, a tough decision it was to come to Brother Rice because... Well, Brother Rice was right in the center, right in the heart of all those Birmingham candy asses. <laughs> you guys know, right? Wait, that didn't come out right, did it? One thing about the coach, though, he was really good at getting you to be a team. 
uniquely, I don't know how he did it. I think it started with the agility drills. For those of you who don't know what they are, they took place uh, uh, before school in the springtime. They lasted about 45 minutes, I think. 45 minutes of running back and forth in the gym. Now, how many different ways can you run back and forth in the gym, right? <laughs> he found ways. You're frontwards, backwards, crab, front crab, side crab, backwards crab, upwards. It was like unbelievable. It never ended. But it was so hard. But you finished. You felt like you accomplished something as a team. He had us go to mass on Wednesday mornings during the season before school, as a team. And worked, worked out nicely as there was an all-you-can-eat pancake place between mass and school. <laughs> and we had pancake eating contests. And I remember eating 20 pancakes and they laughed me out of the place. It was really embarrassing. But we did that as a team. Even the game film, the dreaded game films. He played the game but it wasn't quite over until you made it through the game films, right? And the word, well, we all know what the clicker is, right? <laughs> For those of you who don't know what the clicker is, it's this really terrible invention. You're watching the game film on a reel-to-reel, -reel, right? Going forward, and you might want to see something again, so you click and it automatically goes in reverse. So it's like, and then you click and it goes forward again. It's like, click, click, click. So in the matter of 10 seconds, you can see yourself look like an idiot 15 times. <laughs> and the, the very worst was, you know, you had a bad a play where you looked like you did something really crazy. But you remember the play was OK. Like, yeah, right? You remember the play was okay. So you're watching the game film, and you're coming close to that play. So you're doing all you can to hide under your desk. <laughs> and the play comes, they run the play, they click, they see it again, it's a good play, click, they do it again, click, they show the play again, it gains, you know, first down, it's looking good, they're going on to the next play, right? And then, Coach Ranieri, Coach Burkholder. Coach, did you catch Collins on that last play? Right? Then your life passes right before your eyes. <laughs> click, 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 click. What were you thinking on this play? I, I, I probably pulled the wrong way and I knocked over Bowers. <laughs> he goes down pretty easy, doesn't he, sometimes? Um, <laughs> But when you finished the game films, because everybody had these moments of weakness, but you know, you go through a funny thing, right? And it's strange that nobody laughed because they all knew that they were next, <laughs> right? And so, but you finished that, and when you were done, you survived, and you made it, as a team. And the best thing he did, I thought, was on Fridays after practice. He'd sit us all in the locker room and tell us stories, read letters from past players, some famous, some not, quotes from famous coaches, books, poems, right? We were riveted. I can remember sitting there watching them and just laughing as hard as I could and it seemed like the next moment, crying. And the next moment, we were laughing again. It was, it was of all those years, I, I'll never forget those times in the locker room with Coach Fricasso. You've always heard the saying, this team would run through a wall for Coach Fricasso. He had it so that we not only would run through a wall for Coach Fricasso, we would run through the wall for every single one of our teammates. That was pretty amazing to me. I can't remember what I was going to say next. 
Coach always told us that you would never forget your high school years. We never did. And thanks to you, Coach, they were great, great years. I'd like to make a quick toast to the coaches of the foundation teams. Coach Mike Popson. All right, may he rest in peace. Coach Burkholder, Coach Ranieri, Coach Fercasa. Thank you very much, Coach. Here, here. Now for the bad stories about Coach. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.